Hey, how's it going, YouTube? So we got a new toy in the mail today. It's the uh, ISDT T6 Lite for the Batgo battery charger. Now yeah, I believe it's a 600 watt lipo charger, like a big IMAX B6, but 600 watts. Um, underneath it here we've got one of the early. Uh, well, there's a pair of AEG 3 amp hour batteries down here, and um, they're just parallel, literally com totally paralleled, and uh, balanced lead plugged in. This is the one that I used to use to extend the run time of a Milwaukee 18 volt battery. I used to like to check the balance, I used to have a little cell log in there. But uh, basically, we're going to have a look at how it works. So, it's got a nice bright screen like this as you can see now you've got nickel metal hydride and CD must be nickel metal hydride and NICAD PB so that's lead acid life lithium ion lipo and HV um, LI so we're in lithium ion you can adjust the cells top out voltage just go 4.15 for this. It knows it's at uh, 5S. We might drop the current a bit to make it an even 10 amps. So we can charge, discharge, or store. We'll go charge for now. See so what it does. Alright. So on this side here. We've got how many amps it's pushing in. You've got the battery's voltage, you've got what kind it is, milliamp hours, time, charging. Then it gives you the cells voltages. Oh, stopped it. We'll go again. So you can adjust the current while it's actually charging. So if you're having dramas with leads or you think something's not taking all that great, you can actually back off the uh, charge current, which is pretty cool. Now I bought this one on banggood.com. I bought this with my own coin um, just to uh, basically replace the dead antimatter charger that I got and another dead, uh, what breed, oh, fake IMAX. Copy imitation IMAX B6. So that's it charging. It can do up to 25 amps, whatever that works out to at 600 watts. So we'll go back. And stop that task. It'll just sit there and read the cell voltages for me, like that. Let's go to discharge. We pick the current. So we go up to five amps in discharge. Which is pretty cool. Uh, discharge to three point two. Inputs are a bit laggy at times. Not sure whether it's the actual. Oh, it's point five star. No, current five. And just charging at point five. It's a bit odd and a bit slow. So there's a uh, great big air intake here and a fan right at the very back there. Which it obviously uses to keep itself cool. So we'll stop that one. Let's uh, disconnect these cables. Disconnect the uh, cell monitors there. That's 
this is uh, it's literally just a epoxy together two stripped off 3.0 amp AEG batteries which is perfectly charged mind you that's 6 amps at uh, 20 volts it's a pretty pretty good battery so let's try something different say you wanted it just for your everyday plain Jane lipos so I've just got a bare T-shape or T-shape head whatever so uh, negative towards us Okay, so straight away it comes up and shows us it's a two cell battery. We've got one at 3.9 out and one at 3.96. So it's a well balanced two cell battery. It's probably not highly recommended being this close together with our contacts, but because that'll happen. Stick something between them. So it doesn't keep happening. There we go. All right. We go back through our system. We've got twists. We'll see what it does when we try and discharge it at two S. Oh, here we go. There's a bit higher of an amperage. It'll discharge at 1.3 for a 2S battery there. Still isn't anywhere near as high as I'd like. But it does discharge. Stop. Back. Okay, there's the working info. So 12.9 is our input battery voltage. Just to seal that acid over there, nothing exciting. 34 degrees C inside, which is uh, not really a surprise because it was just discharging. Touch the little last. What other modes we got? What's storage mode do? All right, puts it at 3.7. So it's actually going to straight away work out that it needs to uh, discharge to get to 3.7. So it's pulling one amp out of it. See the milliamp hours counting down over here. So let's go for the charge. Four point one five ten amps of charge. Hope my phone hasn't been vibrating this whole time because I'm getting messages flat out right now. As you see, the input current bounces around nicely to suit the actual voltage. There we go. There we can see. So when it's not charging, it'll even show you the cell's impedances. Now this is something really cool. We'll do this as soon as it stops charging. And this is where you see how many watts it's pulling, how many watts it's pushing, its internal temperature at the watt hours. That's really cool. So I'm quite happy with that part of this little thing. It's only very small, the actual charging unit itself. Oops fits in the palm of your hand. Um, here's your average roll of electrical tape. Well, 4,000 4, milliamp lipo. It's really small. But um, I think this is going to be very helpful for just getting some balancing done. I will 
make another video with all the specs so I can give you a fast rundown with all the specs. But there will be a link to this in the top of the video description. Uh, they're not the cheapest thing in the world, but I really like their cooling system. I like the way you can power them off a lipo. So if you've got a big like RC helicopter lipo, and you're going to go out and race your little RC drift car, you take your helicopter lipo, the big boy, like, you know, them 2200 milliamps or 18,000 milliamp 6S, you plug him in, and you can charge these for hours, and fast, straight out of that battery into that battery. Well, in my instance, I'm using a solar charged lead acid battery over there to precision charge these batteries. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, it's almost up to a 8.4. It's put in one and a half watt hours, just like that. It gives you all those details. So uh, we'll st stop the current task. No, it's not going to sell me cell impedance. It might only do that when it's finished charging. So we might let it charge, and I'll come back in a minute if that is the case. If not. Thanks heaps for watching over here, subscribe and uh, main channel, automotive channel, buttons. More videos over here, link to buy this in the video description and an affiliate code link for anything you want off banggood.com. It'll give me a little kickback so I can keep buying cool things like this and BMS boards and all the cool stuff that's going down on this bench. Got 20 something of these turn up today, 25 to uh, continue our battery. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. Catch us on the next video. Cheers.